Hey chatters, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be talking about the continuation of building our second brain together. Uh, today is going to be, sorry, a little less exciting maybe than the previous ones because I really just want to talk about folders and structuring your, your information uh, in your second brain. This is going to be something that is ever evolving as things grow, but there's just some principles I want you to think about when you're just getting started and so that you feel willing to experiment and also not worry too much about how you're organizing things off the bat, just getting started so there's a little bit of structure so you can easily find things and put things where you want them to be and set up some defaults. First, let's just start with on the sidebar here, you have all of your folders. It's when you start a new folder, it's just going to start a new one. It's going to say untitled. You can do whatever you want with it. Now, what I like to do, just because I'm a visual person, if you know anything about me, I love emojis. I really like putting little emojis next to the different folder types. This just gives me a quick, more visual way to find where I want to go with something. So you'll see I have this little scroll for templates, a little hand drawing for daily notes, a little vial for synaptic labs, etc. You do what you will. You don't have to use emojis, but I just think it's more visual. Next thing I want to point out is you'll notice I have these numbers here. The idea behind this is if I don't have numbers, what's going to happen is that this is going to organize itself just alphabetically, right? So that means my agendas are going to be up top. Templates are going to be a little bit lower. So we really want to think about what is the hierarchy of folders that you want in terms of how you're accessing them and just add your numbers here. I didn't want like a Y2K scenario where I ran out of numbers. I highly doubt I'm going to get to a thousand different folders, but I have three digits here just in case. Who knows? I just use 000 dash and then whatever it is. Now, most of this you're just going to want to structure any which way that makes the most sense for you. But generally, you want to keep these categories as vague as possible. You can always go down in the hierarchy, although you don't really need to as you're going along creating folders. At least the way how I've structured it is at the top, I have all my templates. You're gonna, we talked about them in the last one. They're going to be more important later on uh, when we get into community plugins. But the idea here is that we have a bunch of these templates so that when I say like load this template, it's just going to follow whatever structure I've created for it. So I don't have to do that again every single time. Next is my daily notes. This is just where I keep all my daily notes. And you'll see here that I'm also keeping folders here for month and year so that this doesn't become an incredibly long thing and it becomes hard to find anything. So every once in a while, well, actually, I'll do it right now because today is December 1st. We're just going to stick everything in there so that now it's nice and orderly. And then once we get through December, I'll create a 2023 folder and I'll just stick everything in there. Next is my Synaptic Labs, the business stuff. I have my Kanbans, which we'll talk about in a future video, my workflows and canvases, some things I'm experimenting with, some ideas I have for blog posts, and then just a folder for all the media, all the blogs, videos, podcasts, transcripts, just everything you can uh, imagine. And you'll see here again, I have things numbered just because this is the order that I wanted in. <laughs> I, don't, I guess I could change this to zero and zero one, but... I want them both at the top. Next, we just have my prompts. This is just a mess of a folder right now. I don't really keep that too organized, but I do want to keep the professor up top and the research article summarizer. These are just ones I use a lot. And these ones we might get to over a thousand, so we'll see. So for learning, you really want to keep as vague a topic as possible right now. I'm still trying to figure this out, but right now I have history, philosophy, AI, and Readwise will be doing another video on this, but this is just a way to capture all of the articles, podcasts, whatever you might be looking at. So just keep this vague again. You can go really deep down, uh, as deep down as you want, but try to keep the higher order sort of topics, at least in the beginning. 
Next, I have courses. So I'm working on all these courses. So I just want to make sure I'm capturing all of the courses that I'm doing, as well as keeping myself organized for uploading them all to whatever, what stage they might be in. And then agendas, I just keep the general agendas here. I'm still working on this one, but the idea for me is that I've been keeping all of my notes for different meetings in my daily notes, but I want to move towards actually having a running agenda for all of my frequent meetings, my, my meetings that are like weekly. And instead of putting that in the daily note, I'll just backlink it to this running agenda. So it's a little bit easier to go through instead of me having to go through each individual daily note to find what I'm looking for. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to go too deep into this, but before we get too deep, I want to make sure that you're setting up a folder structure for yourself. However, that makes sense at the very beginning, keep it as broad as you possibly can. And then as things grow with you, as you're collecting information, you can funnel it down into a hierarchy. But you don't want to get too fancy. Again, we're going to be hooking up uh, an LLM to this. It's really easy to search through everything. Just want to have initial organization so you can find things. But hey, if you're messy, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You'll get there. We'll figure it out. So quick one, but I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next one.